Uh, practice five already uh, behind us. Um, going fast, so that's uh, one third of the practices, and you know, got uh, three scrimmages. Um, you know, a day even with just uh, just helmets. So uh, it's going to move along quickly. And all of a sudden, Saturday after Saturday's practice will be one step even closer. So uh, guys, are, I thought today really did a nice job bringing energy. I thought the, the physicality was uh, at the highest level. Today was our first day in full pads, as you saw out there. So um, didn't do anything as far as taking a lot of guys to the ground or anything like that in our full scrimmage stuff that we always kind of end each practice with. But uh, we will get to that here uh, on Saturday a, a little bit, uh, just some isolated opportunities there to work on that. Uh, so um, guys came back from spring break, um, got a high standard and asked them uh, to be even better than what we were uh, on Tuesday. Uh, they definitely brought it and uh, they, you, know, you tell it's important to them. They're doing uh, a lot of things uh, to work together to improve individually, collectively, both on their side of the ball and as a team. Questions? Coach, uh, first of all, uh, we're, we're going to try and introduce ourselves today. Yep. I expect you to yep. memorize You bet. It. I'm Kirk McNair with Bama 24 7. I was supposed to ask you about Uber making the trip, but I'm not wasting my question on that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I Uber's a horse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tight ends, if you would uh, evaluate them and how, yeah. how you'll use them. Yeah, the tight end's a really important part of our offense. Um, always has been, always will be. Uh, you know, I would consider us a pro spread type offense and the tight end is a big piece of that. Controls the middle of the field, gives us extra gaps and, uh, and run lanes. Um, a guy who can line up inside uh, with his hand down, uh, off the ball, flex out, um, is smart enough to build protections and can run the routes uh, all part of the tree. Um, that's a big deal in our offense. Uh, personnel matchup issue you know that we want to try to expose when we get the right guy out there um, a lot of competition a lot of rotation in um, they all doing a pretty good job um, you know we're getting uh, uh, getting CJ back here a little bit uh, he's not full go necessarily but uh, him add to the mix um, so it's been a thin group but it's uh, you know with addition now here uh, coming along and uh, it's a really really important part of our team being able to do different personnel groupings um, rather than just always be multiple receiver sets uh, is a big deal. And uh, the tight end the tight end group's always been important in that role. Hey, hey Ryan, Ryan, Tony Sakalis, uh, Tight Illustrated. Uh, Ryan Day the other day was talking about the communication between the center and he, he said that uh, Seth McGoffin's problems last year were more about the cadence and stuff like that. Uh, have you noticed anything uh, in that regard? And what, what, what have you seen between the communication between the center and the quarterback? I guess I only can really go off of what we've done right now and we haven't had any problems there. So, you know, we, we use our cadence and that's the clap cadence. And so, so um, Jalen, all the quarterbacks have done a good job. I think from what I've seen, we haven't really had any problems at all. Coach, Emily Grayson Porter from the next round. Good to see you. It seems like you're having some great success on the recruiting trail and proving you can recruit in the South. Is there anything new that you've learned about the process and what aspects of your, of your program are you utilizing with these players? Uh, I don't think there's anything new. I think our staff's just done a really good job. Um, we did have to play some catch up early on, um, just trying to, to build some relationships quickly. I've obviously identify first and then uh, kind of get in the game with some uh, relationships and our staff, uh, both on the field staff and our recruiting staff have really done a good job working hard, um, being on the same page and uh, you know, getting these guys here to campus has been really a big deal. And once they get here and they get to know everyone, um, you know, it's led to success as we've seen. Mike Rodak with Bama 247. Just on the recruiting note, you talked about social media yesterday and kind of the importance of that. Just what's your, your vision for social media and kind of the importance of that in recruiting? Yeah, we picked up uh, a couple, uh, well, I should say picked up, sounds like we're recruiting them, but uh, <laughs> um, we, we added some staff um, and really have, you know, a vision there. And I think it's a big deal, you know, uh, you know, not just with the average fan, but with the recruiting, recruiting the recruits and prospects that we're, re we're looking at what they like and what is attractive to them. And uh, just trying to sh showcase our program, also just get our message out, uh, them to understand the culture we're trying to build here and what we all, what all our resources are and who the people are that, uh, that all work here. So um, uh, Walt Brock is a guy that, uh, you know, just stepped foot on, on campus here this week and uh, really excited about what I know he can bring through the experiences he's had in the past and uh, kind of a big picture, but also very detail oriented uh, um, vision that he has for us. Yeah, um, MattStallAle.com. Um, we saw Sterling Dixon and Jeremy Bernard in the black jerseys. Just want to see if you had any update on where they are. Yeah, just minor, minor stuff. Uh, they'll be 
back. I don't know. I don't know if they'll be back on Saturday, uh, but they should be back here next week. Nothing. Nothing major. Coach Luke, Alabama football on YouTube. Uh, the headset communication since the first press How have you seen that progressing? How's everybody? Quarterbacks, coaches. How they adjusting? Yep. We have only three that we're working with right now. Two on offense. One on defense. Um, uh, on the defensive side, it's been clean every single time. Today, there might have been one. I haven't identified exactly if he couldn't hear us or what the situation was, but uh, that's the only time. So it was nothing major. I think we got it figured out even within the practice. So it's been really good. Um, you know, I think the key is is not use it too much. I mean, you got you got to practice kind of what that that method might be and the things that uh, we're, we're going to be able to utilize it for. But it will shut off based on the rules as we understand it right now. Um, so, you know, there's going to be some time period where you got to have all your mechanics and you, if it goes out, you, you still got to have the mechanics in place. So um, it's been really helpful, um, you know, letting the coordinators be able to talk directly to the guys that are on the field. Um, that's been a little different than anything we've ever experienced, but uh, it's gone really smooth. You've got some really uh, young, talented guys in the secondary. What have you seen from them, guys like Red Morgan, uh, Xavier Brown? Yeah, I, those two in particular, and there's been some others too, but since you brought them up, um, they've certainly been highlighted uh, throughout this first five practices. Red made a nice play or two today, um, and xavier has been super consistent, uh, really beyond what you would expect for, you know, such a, such guys that are so young. So I've uh, been really positive with those guys. Alex Scarborough, 247. Uh, one more injury thing. Did he notice, is there a timetable on when he's possible to get back? Yeah, I don't know that. I do know, but I, I think it's still kind of relative, uh, kind of up in the air still. So I, I mean, I'm certainly aware of it, obviously. And then just offensive tackle as a whole, how do you see those guys developing? And are you getting kind of the numbers there that you're looking for? Yeah, I mean, offensive line wise, even just if you look at our scholarship numbers, we are short there. And so, um, you know, you need so many to get through a season. And so uh, um, those guys are getting a lot of reps, they're getting a lot of work, they're all getting better. Um, you know, really proud of the way they're just grinding and, and getting after it each and every day. But uh, um, scholarship numbers for the offensive line in general, you know, are still just below where, where we'd like to be um, going into the fall. Yeah. You've got a lot of pass catchers. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, you're good. You've got a lot of pass catchers with different skill sets. How important is that for your offense? Yeah, it's been really good. You know, each day you kind of learn a little bit more about these guys. And so something kind of pops and, and uh, you know, seeing a guy make a cock, uh, catch a certain way, body control, um, you know, uh, you know, some of the you know, uh, just ways that they can release and kind of win off the line of scrimmage. Uh, some of those guys, uh, um, have shown up uh, in different ways and so you know right now we're in install mode and so it's just teaching everyone the offense and just you know kind of they're all X's right now not like X's and receiver X or Z but like they're all just learning the offense and as we get into specialty package packages and that will really come in the fall um, that's when you utilize the strengths that each of them have but it is important very important for us to know what these guys are going into the summer so we can plan accordingly with certain pass or certain concepts and certain packages uh, going into fall camp. Two more, Anna. Okay, Anna Snyder with Tuscaloosa News. Uh, I'm just curious, what do you think of the recruiting calendar in particular, the June signing day that's being discussed? Well, I know there's a lot of concerns and um, I, think, I think we're a pretty unified group here in the, in the SEC with, um, you know, trying to just work for the December date right now and, and we're good with moving it up. Um, I know at the, in the high school ranks a lot of concern. I think it's a very valid concern um, that you know you might have some guys that aren't uh, that aren't playing and may opt out if they sign and you know I don't know if that's those are the guys you want playing. I think it's also really good for us to, for any of those that we want to see play one more season in the fall for our evaluation purposes. I think it's really important so um, you know, everything I think would just get moved up even earlier than what it is. Um, I know there's some reasons why you'd want to do it, but I think at this point, um, moving it earlier in December is, is, a, is a good move. Um, and, uh, you know, just want to be careful not to speed things up more than what we have. But uh, working and hearing from the uh, high school coaches, uh, I think, you know, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to make the game better, make good decisions on behalf of all of us. And I think right now, Moving to June is, is probably a little little too much. Now that, you find, now that you find Last yourself question. in the middle of spring practice, what do you find yourself prioritizing the most, both in the building and outside? 
Uh, try you, the football piece and the recruiting piece. Um, you know, getting the staff aligned and you know uh, just trying to make sure that we're on the same page with what that practice and the execution of a practice is going to look like. Um, that's that's big um, to me. It's getting to know these guys and and showing confidence and and uh, you know just acknowledging the growth that we're seeing with them, um, challenging them to be even better. So that piece with the players, but uh, just the football. You know, um, really evaluating how we do everything when it comes to, uh, you know, who we are as a team, what our identity is becoming on both sides of the ball. And the guys are doing a really good job. We're throwing a lot at them, We're throwing a lot at them really fast. Today was some red zone stuff, and, you know, it just keeps coming, you know, and Saturday uh, will be even more. And we want to try to get ready for a scrimmage to where we can go up and down the field on any, in any down and distance in every, uh, every part of the field. Um, we can go run plays and, and uh, see where we're at. All right, Coach, thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.